Hi, Patrick with Shazebo. Here we have the Shazebo test rig, and we're going to test some turnbuckles. We're going to test uh, an eye bolt turnbuckle that's not welded. We're going to test our jaw turnbuckle, and then a, another uh, open-ended turnbuckle. And what we've got is a dynamometer where we can tell how many pounds of force was exerted from our system. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pull on these things until they break. Oh, here we go with our test on the 10 millimeter open-ended hook turnbuckle. We're starting off with about 100 pounds, basically at rest, and we're going to, we're going to put force on this until it breaks. see what we came up with and if you look at the indicator it got up to about uh, about 1300 pounds before it broke okay next we're going to test the the uh, turnbuckle with the eye ends or, or the loop ends but they're not well So you can see that uh, it started to come undone and it broke at, looks like about uh, 1,100 pounds. Okay, next we're going to test the, uh, the jaw turnbuckle that captures the, uh, the hardware with a pin. So there's no way for this to straighten out. So for this turnbuckle to, uh, to fail, it's going to have to break completely. but basically we're up to pushing the, the limits of the, the dynamometer. So we're up to uh, 1,800 pounds. So as far as the turnbuckle itself, it's all still in good shape. Uh, the board might have been creaking a little bit. Okay, I've just loosened the, the rig, the test rig. I'm going to take this turnbuckle out, and I guess I just want to show you that that everything's still intact. It's still a good turnbuckle, nothing is bent or broken. So let's say your shade sail had gone through a, a heavy wind that exerted 1,800 pounds on the corner. Your, the, the pad eye that we have would be fine, the, the, the hardware that we have. The turnbuckle still turns easily. You know, nothing, uh, nothing is damaged here. As long as you use the proper hardware, you'll be fine. Had you used one of the other turnbuckles, well, you'd have a sail flapping in the wind, breaking windows, and, and who knows what. Here we have the results of our brake test. The uh, 10 millimeter open-ended hook turnbuckle, it didn't break so much as just bent open, uh, got up to 1330 pounds. The uh, 10 millimeter, uh, these started out as eyes that were completely folded over. Now they kind of look like hooks, but this, uh, this basically shattered at 1,100 pounds. And then our Shazebo turnbuckle, same size, uh, it's totally fine. We ran it up to 1,800 pounds. It didn't break. The reason we didn't go higher is because our dynamometer only goes to 2,000 pounds. But uh, you can rest assured this turnbuckle can withstand uh, all the forces that your Shazebo is going to put on it. Now, obviously it's important to choose the right hardware. You, you, I'm not even going to test the one that you can get from your local hardware store. Uh, as you consider your hardware, make sure you, for sure you don't go with the open-ended eye bolts that are not welded. You know, those are just no good. They're going to cause problems for you when a storm rolls in. Uh, stick with the Shazebo hardware.